Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Corey Reed, and welcome to the seventh season of Corey Reed Reads. Today, I have three throwback books that I'd like to read it to you, and they are Joseph Had a Little Overcoat by Sims Tabak, Who Said Red by Mary Safaza, illustrated by Keiko Narahashi, and Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed, retold and illustrated by Eileen Christella. Now, the first book I've been read during a previous during the episode of my show, and it's going to be Joseph Had a Little Overcoat. I'll just remind you that the story named Joseph, who had an overcoat, he had until he had nothing, until he wrote a book about it, which shows you can make something out of nothing. And that's what that story is all about. And I cannot wait to read it to you. So let's get started with reading. Joseph Had a Little Overcoat by Sims Tibet. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to turn that page, but don't judge me. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and warm. So he made a jacket out of it and went to the fair. Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and warm. So he made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. Joseph had a little vest. It got old and warm. So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's chorus. Joseph had a little scarf. It got old and warm. So he made a necktie out of it and, visit, and went to visit his married sister in the city. Joseph had a little necktie it got old and warm. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. Joseph had a little handkerchief. It got old and warm. So he made a button out of it and used it to fasten his su suspenders. Joseph had a little button. One day, he lost it. Now he had nothing. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can make something out of nothing. The end. That was an amazing book. And I hope you're going to be recommended to your, to your kids to read it. And this is only the beginning. And when we come back on the seventh season of Corey Reads, I'd like to read the second book, Who Said Red? And later on, I'd like to recap all three books for today. And when the seventh season of Corey Reads continues after this brief break.